So with the recent gameplay trailer for Season 12 of Apex Legends, a lot was uncovered and at the centre of attention with both Mad Maggie and a domination mode that is about to come into play for Apex Legends Season 12. So in today's video I want to go over specifically how I see this mode working in Apex along with a little breakdown as to what it is and the gameplay we were given within this trailer. If you enjoy this type of content, drop a sub as we're really really close to 300 subscribers and it would mean a lot, and a like and let me know what you guys make of this mode joining Apex Legends for Season 12. But getting into today's video, we've recently had a trailer showcasing the new 9v9 capture the flag type mode that is being named Control. This is set to be a limited time mode within the game to test out how it would fare in the hands of the fans, and potentially return as a permanent mode kinda like Arena's was although I'm not 100% sure on that, so take it with a grain of salt. When you watch the trailer and you head over to our website to get a more of a description on the mode, it gives us a description of the roadmap for the mode and what we could expect whilst playing Control. It says, For the first three weeks of Defiance, see whether you can handle the madness in the new Control mode. Select your loader and drop into a 9v9 experience where the teams battle to hold control points with infinite respawn. For any of you guys who have played many a FPS before Apex, this straight up screams as a domination game mode popular through games like Call of Duty and implemented into other games such as Battlefield. Something I picked up on for the trailer, you can see these flags actually being posted around the map and maybe those are just indicators for the current objective that you're standing on or maybe they are incorporating a capture the flag type element game mode within this domination mode coming to Apex. Now I think that would be really interesting, but to be honest, it's either that or it's just simply the flags to mark the point. But let me know what you make of that one in the comments below, if you think they're going to add a capture the flag element to this mode, or if it's just indicators for that current objective. The trailer plays out and we see a selection screen similar to that of the one of the LTMs in the past, like the Christmas one for example that we just had that just went by there, where you can get to select a pre-made loadout that's set before the match and you can change it with every time if you die if you so choose. Now for some of you that may actually completely put you off this game mode, but as much as people want to choose their own loadouts, I personally feel this is fine and I've seen many other people not really bothered with this when it comes to these certain LTMs and to be honest, think about how broken it would be if everyone could choose their own loadouts. It would be flatline shotgun, it would be wingman shotgun, wingman R9, you know? Having a little bit of flavour and a mix up in some of the loadouts is kind of nice where we had like R9 and triple take or wingman and car smg you know things like that just something a little bit different that isn't maybe high tier meta but something that's not like a bad combo either obviously there'll be better combos than other ones but i feel like a pre-made that's set then maybe that changes over like a couple of days so like one day we have a set amount of loadouts and then the day after they change the loadouts kind of like what they did for the christmas ltm in my opinion that would be the best way to do it for this game mode but getting back to the main game mode itself, this mode will set to be a domination type style game mode where basically the, the team with the most flags captured will accumulate points and the first team to hit the max amount of points which will then in turn give them the victory will obviously be the victor. To my knowledge the flags that were dotted around the map are actually just indicators when no one is on the flag it's coloured grey and then when say a blue team captures that point on the map it actually turns the flag blue to indicate that this team has actually covered this vicinity and this objective. In my opinion I think a domination mode coming to Apex Legends is actually very interesting and gives us sort of like a different gameplay element that we've not really had in Apex before. We've had a lot of LTMs that have been super fun for a lot of people, but recently with the last few months, apart from the return of the train event for Christmas, we really didn't have that much new LTMs. We had the Halloween one and the Christmas ones, which were both just rewashed modes that they'd already brung. Not that they were bad, but people want to see new and exciting gameplay elements being added to Apex Legends, just to give us something different so we're not just playing the same old game. And doing this with something like Domination, and the way that they've done Arenas, even though Arenas has overall been been probably a bit of a flop, I think it's very interesting to show that they're still trying to expand the bracket of content that they could bring within the game. But go ahead and drop your comments down below and just let me know what you guys think of this mode. Do you like it? Do you think there's a competitive space for it? Do you think it's just going to be super casual kind of like arenas or the other LTMs and it just won't come back? Or do you think it's just generally something different and you're excited to play it? Get chatting down below. 
If you enjoyed today's video, a like would be very, very much appreciated and a subscription as we're now currently 100 subscribers off 3,000 and it would be amazing to hit that before the end of February. Like I said, if you're new, drop a like, subscribe, join the Discord to get updated. I do actually stream over on Twitch, so if you want to join in, feel free to do so as we get this gameplay live over there on Twitch. But apart from that, like I said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, join the Discord, get involved with all that good stuff. I've been Spotchbug. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.